Hey guys, Classic Omer here. Welcome back to Metroid Prime. So, we got the Plasma Beam. This thing's awesome. Like, one of the coolest weapons in the game, by far. And I didn't, you know, show it off in the previous episode because things were running a little long. I'm going to have plenty of time to show it off here, though. Mostly because there's so many things that I need to use it to, like, you know, unlock extra power-ups I can get. Not to mention, uh, I'll just kill the crap out of some enemies with it. But not this thing. Here we, of course, will have a rehash of one of the mini-bosses from before, the Shigoth. But now we have power bombs, they're way easier to take care of. Oh, looks like it'll take more than one. Must have been thinking in normal mode where it doesn't. I'll just lay another one in her face. There we go. That takes care of the problem. And the reason I actually came back in this room is because now that we have grapple beam, we can get to that ledge. I just hope I can actually jump up to grab one of these instead of... Aw, oh, sweet. I was afraid I was going to have to use the spider ball tracks to get around. It takes forever. Comparatively, anyway. So, in here, missile tank. I'm just gonna constantly call them that, apparently. I will never learn my lesson and start calling them expansions. And beyond that, looks like this way leaves. At least is the way to leave. Not necessarily the way I want to go, though. There's, let's see. There's stuff to be done over here, and a lot of it at that. But then there are a few things back in, like, the main first entrance room we came into. Like, you know, the very first time we enter Fendrana. Which I, I'll just probably call, like, Section 1 of Fendrana. Which we're at the end of, of course. Since we're closer to the new area, let's just head over there and pick up some stuff boost through all this, and the plasma beam is going to be used a lot for getting stuff over there. Actually getting stuff here in Fendrana in general. You know, as you would imagine, it's the fire-based beam in the ice-based area. Kinda makes sense. Speaking of, look, here's the first new thing to get. There we go. Just blast out with the plasma beam, roll on through, energy tank get. And someone mentioned try power bomb on this, which I never did. I always just used uh, plasma beam. Uh, apparently, it requires plasma. That's fine. I kind of waited till this long on purpose, this late in the game. And here we're gonna have, of course, you know, my oso oh favorite enemies, the flying pirates. There he is. And guess what plasma beam does to him? Boom! Incinerated! Immediately. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Um. Crap. I thought that one had stuff. I guess it's. Yeah, it's Fendrana's Edge all the way on the other side. Well, that sucks. It means I'm gonna have to travel even further. Ah, there he is. Ah. I was like, how do you get over there? I didn't expect him to have flown over that far that fast. Well, let's see. So, oh yeah, but I'm going to even have to go back here into the Hydra Lab stuff for something I couldn't get until now, too. So, that's fun. Hmm. Looks like this is a good place to go in as any. Because I know I mentioned a few of the power-ups and things to look out for. So basically all we're going to be getting from here on are missile expansions and maybe some power bomb. There really aren't too many of those in the game. Because, well, kind of like at the end. I was at 70% when I loaded this up today and I think there's only 250 missiles in the game and I'm at... 175, maybe a little more. So yeah, there's really not much left to do. 
and a lot of the power-ups we can we need are going to be in here. So what we need to do is come up to here so we can finally shoot that. And when it falls down, it's going to make a giant hole in the ice. And that's how we get to that missile expansion. Also, I should mention for anyone who's been wondering and asking if this is going to be a 100% run, uh, my final answer on that is yes, and... oh, crap. Come on, get on there, and then... there we go. I kept falling down, like, the little hole between the fallen slag tight and the rest of the water. There we go. Let's not fall right back in. Uh, no, like I was saying, I'm going to still try and do as much of this by memory as I can, but I'm definitely going to make it a 100% run, and what I'm trying to figure out is how I want to, uh, document it, because there's like 49 missile expansions, uh, I think 13 energy tanks, maybe 14, and, whoa, fish. Well, I'm not sure this is going to work. Ah, whatever. Fish is just a pain in the ass anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's like 49 missiles, 13 energy tanks, uh, and I think you max the like 10 power bombs. So, what I might end up doing is just going back through all my old videos and uh, leaving annotations like, hey, this is missile expansion number whatever of 49. Or I might just use uh, all the footage I've recorded, and plus the stuff I'm obviously going going to be recording in the future to make like a giant guide episode that's going to be completely skippable so all I'll do is point out where all the uh, things are give like the map locations and whatever so I don't know whichever one of those sounds better to you guys is the one I'll probably do I just uh need to be told, like, which one I, I should do. And, obviously, if I'm going to do the Giant Guide episode, then I can't do that until after I've collected everything. Which, I'm at the, that point of the game right now. So, it won't be too long before I can do that. Now, the entire point of this place was to get all the way back up to the top. I didn't really mean to fall down fighting those guys. Come over here, and we want to make sure that this is in a position where I can swing over to this ledge. Might have been before, but whatever. And here, we can find... Ooh, a power bomb expansion. And there's still one more thing we can get around here. I think you can see it with a thermal? Yeah, you can. There's that door down there, but there's obviously nothing there normally. Also, the x-ray lets you see in there. But if you scan, this wall doesn't show anything at all. So I think what you're supposed to use is a power bomb. And then you need a plasma beam to be able to get in here anyway. But it's just one of those, like, really hard to find power-ups unless you know where it is. Sure, it's an artifact and there's some kind of thing about it that you scanned earlier, but beyond just knowing it's Fendrana's Edge, they really leave that one up to you to find, which I kind of like. Just force you to actually use everything you've got until you happen to find the power-up. Or, I, I shouldn't call the artifacts power-ups, they're really not. They're just items. Okay, now we need to head back through here, through the, uh, whoa, the gravity chamber, because I think it was in there, and if not, that room, one more after it has yet another power-up to get. Oh, whoa. 
this is not where I was expecting to drop out at. That's fine, I can I think I can do stuff in here anyway. I think. I know that I already got a power up that was in here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I need to come here to the this end of the gravity chamber from the chamber access. So maybe the grapple beam will make it easier to get there. Because it's not that, I think it's this one. Yeah, that's right, because I'll come in here, see these things, hopefully Plasma Beam works well on them. Of course it does. Plasma Beam works well on everything. Just about, anyway. Back into here... I guess I'll take this guy out so he's not bothering me. Whoa, hello there. You don't need to use Charge Beams on them, it just works faster. And this giant thing of ice can be melted immediately. One shot from Plasma Beam, not even charged. Grapple Beam up to the missile, and there we go. Just picking everything up. And I don't think that there's, like, anything else around. Because I got one there, one there, one there. One over here. There's nothing else in the frozen pike. Back there. So now I just need to head into the uh, the Hydra Lab. Specifically, I need to get up here to the control tower. So I think I'm just going to cut myself to there because I don't feel like doing all the walking there on camera. If I find something in one of these caves back through, I'll show it. I don't think that there's anything else to get. So I'll see you guys over there in just a moment. Okay, so now I'm up here on the control tower and... Really, when you get up here, it's just the same as before. A couple flying space pirates only. Now you have the plasma beam, which makes killing them even easier. So I didn't feel the need to show that. In case you were wondering why I get here and it's empty and... If you play along and get here, it's suddenly full of enemies. So, we need to come up into one of these lookout towers. Apparently not this one, though. Yeah, it'd be that one. I guess they both have giant towers next to them. So, whatever. Just get in into the one on... Uh... Hmm. I was going to give you a actual like compass direction, I didn't realize since the map spins around it, I can't do that very effectively. Or check one until you find the one you need. And what the hell? Fine. Apparently this doesn't want to blow up. There we go. You need to do that, and then this thing. I don't think it matters what you shoot it with. Yeah, just as long as you shoot it. Plasma beam probably works, missiles work, super missiles work, whatever. So I guess I could have done this a long time ago. But blasting that, of course, drops this down. Which means that now we can come in here and roll into the ball and find yet another Chozo artifact. Just sitting around. So now we've got what, seven of them? We, yeah, seven. So, making decent progress on those. <sighs> Fortunately, hey, get in there. There we go. There's not a whole lot left to do, like, on this end of Fendrana, or the harder end of it, I guess. So, now I want to exit this place, um, over here. Which means that I'm going to have to go through, like, the other half of it. Which I'm, of course, not going to show off, so... I will see you guys probably over by the save point over there. Like, before the Thardis fight. Okay, so now we're back out here 
after the lab hydra stuff, I'd like to point out that there's a spider wee spider ball track over here that you can use as a shortcut up if you're coming from this direction. So, you know, I guess something to keep in mind. Hey, damn door. And beyond that, uh, now I just need to make it back to the. Actually, not even just the main room. There's a whole bunch of stuff over here. I just need to make it back. Let's see. Which room is this? I don't... No. I think there is something in here. It's like over here? Yeah. I can shoot this with plasma beam, drop down, and get powerbomb expansion. Beyond that, time to make my way through here. Shigas have replaced the uh, electric flying things I don't remember the name of. And now that we're in this room, we can see that missile expansion up there. And I could have gotten this. Ah, crap. Basically, as soon as I killed Thardis. Like, all you need are Super Missile and Spider Ball to get it. I just haven't been back around here. Shoot this with some plasma beam and it'll open up, allowing you to get another missile expansion. I'm going to try and avoid the Shigoth as much as I can because I don't care to fight them. Also, the ice enemies around here that required missiles before now will only take a plasma beam. So I guess that's a good way to, you know, conserve the missiles. Let's try and not fail this jump this time. There we go. So we just need to shoot this, scan it, and this will open up a way to get in there as the Morph Ball. And it's not timed or anything, just need to bomb myself up there. So there's another missile expansion. And... Is it through this room? Nope. On the other side, you can see that there's that little area jutting out. There's another missile expansion over there. So it's just a matter of... Whoops. <laughs> making my way there. Which would be a lot easier if I keep myself up on the higher areas instead of just falling down all the time. But what do you expect from me some days? <laughs> I am not always perfect, or ever perfect. So then. Wow. 195? Is that even the max, or do I have more than that? It's kind of hard to tell when it gets that high. Because I can't really tell if I have, you know, a few more missiles. I have slightly higher missile capacity than that. Unfortunately, the fully grown Shigoth in here will be a bit of a pain. Whoa. She stomps around and just makes you mess your jumps up. Really, I should probably, like, you know, kill her or something. But I'm not feeling like I care enough to do that. So there you see the, uh, spire ball track. Just roll right on over there and pick up the missile. Wow, I have a lot more power bonus than I thought. I thought I was down to like my last one. Oh well. Whoa, whoa! Ah, uh, crap. Didn't really intend to fall down like that. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I think this will take me back where I want to go anyway. I think that might actually be all the power ups in Fendrana, too. There could be one I'm forgetting, but. Yeah, that seems to be everything. So, that's nifty. I guess next time, I'll be back over in uh, the Chozo Ruins, because there are a few more power-ups there I remembered about. Oh, wait. That's not everything here. I just remembered, there is something else I need to go get. And it is up there. about to end the episode prematurely. I 
think it ends up being a Chozo artifact. But, ah, come on. I'll just see you guys up there. You know I can make the jump. Okay, so... Going through this tunnel, get back to this chamber, and I'm pretty sure at the top of it, we can find uh, something I need to use the plasma beam on. Just need to make it up there and not get shot by these electric things. And I'm pretty sure this stream of frozen stuff coming from the uh, Chozo's mouth can be shot, melted, and now it wants you to, you know, whoop, be cradled by it. There we go. That's right. And here, yep, Chozo artifact. So that makes eight. Pretty nifty. And the next room over is just where I got the wave beam, isn't it? Well, a tunnel and then that. So yeah, that's all. Okay. Well, barring uh, remembering any more power-ups out here in Fendrana, I'm going to end the episode off here. Next time you'll see me in the Chozo Ruins collecting a few more things, and then I think it's off to the phase on mines. Don't well, no, I think there is one other thing I need to pick up on the Talon Overworld, but I can do that on the way to the mines. So this is Classic Homer signing out. I'll see you guys next time.